Hello everybody, Stephen Key here. Wow, this is going to be a great topic. You're absolutely going to love it. This situation has happened two times in the last week and I'm going to uh, give you some information if this ever happens to you. So two of my students, um, they're submitting an idea to a company and guess what? They get some interest. But uh, the company, the potential licensee, asked them, they love the product, but they say, look, is there any prior art? Uh, and of course, there is prior art. Prior art meaning prior patents that are similar. That's right, they're similar to your idea. Trust me, they exist. There's no idea that you're going to have that's out there that someone hasn't come up with some type of variation. So there's going to be prior patents that are similar to yours. So if a company asks you, well, you know, are, are you going to get a patent? And if you don't get a patent, number one, because of prior art, you know, maybe we wouldn't be so competitive because we're paying you a royalty. Right. And, and, if, and if you don't get a patent, then you know, someone else can come out with the same thing. And since we're paying you that 20 cent, 20 cent royalty more per item, we can't be competitive. That's a bunch of malarkey. It's not about protection because, number one, even if you had a patent, no company's going to go out there and sue someone to stop them to competing, to stop them to compete in the marketplace. If Apple, with all the patents they have out there, if they cannot protect their intellectual property, it's really hard to think some other company is going to do it too. So if that's the argument they're using about, hey, you know, are you going to get a patent? It's not about protection. It's about selling. So this is how you handle that situation. You tell them right up front, look, of course, there's prior art. Acknowledge it. In fact, find it yourself so you know what it is and know your point of difference. Know why yours is better and just repeat it to them. Say, look, there's prior art there. And of course, and guess what? They're not on the market. And the reason why that product didn't make it to the market is they over design. Maybe they use too much material. Maybe they didn't know how to build it correctly for equipment. But find your point of difference and tell them directly. Be confident that yours is a better design. And of course, there's prior art. But the point is, it never came to market. And that's why we're here now, because it's about selling. It's not about protection. And of course, you're confident that you're going to receive intellectual property. You, filed your, you have filed your provisional patent application and you're confident that you're going to get a patent. No one can argue about that. No one can. So if a company says, look, we're not quite sure. Do you have a patent? It's a bunch of it's just a bunch of garbage. You guys be confident, know the prior art, know why yours is different. Come back to them with that confidence to explain to them, look, there's always prior art. But number two, you have a better design and explain why yours is better. So use the prior art as a tool to talk about the benefits of your idea and why you're here talking today. So anyway, this is Stephen Key. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. And hopefully you'll give me a thumbs up. Thanks.